Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV and Marine, and I've got a 2007 High Low 22T travel trailer. That's definitely something you don't see uh, every day. These are real unique uh, trailers. The whole uh, top of it uh, raises and lowers. Of course, uh, most of you probably already know that. You got a nice, uh, big, uh, nice, good size uh, window on the front cap here. You've got two propane uh, uh, bottles under there as well. Uh, it's got a good size uh, patio awning, and then I, uh, you have some storage down here. Let me see if it's open. Yeah, you got a little bit of storage in there. It does have the uh, stabilizer jacks down below. Um, this is the 50th anniversary edition, looks like. Um, you got a nice big size uh, window here, and also uh, one in there, which you'll appreciate once you're inside it. And, uh, Right here you have what looks like to me a setup for an outdoor TV because you got a 110 connection there and then you got that looks like the stand to place the TV on. Um, you got some more storage in this corner here. It's got a spare tire back here, another window on the rear cap. And over on this side, you got uh, two more windows and then you have a uh, some damage right here in this corner there. And uh, the tires, here's a close-up of the tires, they look good. They just pulled this trailer in over, uh, I think it was 10 hours to the store, so pulled in uh, nice, no problems. It does, uh, does have 30 amp uh, service in here. And there's another storage there, you got your city water connection there, hot water heater up here. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way to the inside of the trailer. Of course, on your way inside, you have the uh, entry step. You've got the first thing that you'll notice right here is the uh, Dometic fridge, which works great, very clean. And then we do have keys to it, so that's always good. Got a nice mirror there, and right here, you've got your you got a bed down there, and then you also have the top bed here, which uh, if you're not using it, uh, lifts up and. Uh, uh, attaches to the, the ceiling here. Um, here's a look at the kitchen. You got a three burner range. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. If not, it definitely hasn't been used much at all. You've got a uh, double sink here with a sink cover. It's got a furnace on it. You've got your stereo there. You've got your hood, uh, hood fan and a nice size uh, uh, convertible booth dinette, of course. Lots of nice storage up top. And uh, I forgot to point out, you've got that window up there and one window there as well. Um, this day and night shade doesn't want to stay up, so the rest of them seem to be just fine, though. Uh, really, the uh, only real negative thing you can say about this unit here is it did have a, the roof did have some leaks, which you can see has caused it to uh, have that ripple look, so you had some water leaks on it. Uh, and then you have this uh, rooftop AC here. And uh, let's go ahead and make our way to the bathroom area. In the bathroom, you got a nice sink. Of course, you got a toilet. Then you've got this uh, it's your wardrobe closet, which you can lift up or access it through here. Another nice mirror there. Overhead storage. Then you've got your shower. Of course, you have this privacy door to do that. And then you've got a screen that goes right there. And then, same deal with the shower curtain swings around just like that um, but it's actually a good size good size bathroom on the on this trailer and uh, we do uh, get a lot of customers asking about these high-low trailers whenever we get them in they're they're very uh, I guess different than any other travel trailer on the market but the, a lot of people like it because they're helps with fuel efficiency when it's lowered down in your towing uh, you don't have as much drag uh, but overall, it's a nice trailer. It does have, remember, the roof did have uh, some roof leaks before, but um, if you're in the market for a nice high-low trailer, uh, give me a call, 936-253-8130. My name's John. Thanks for watching.